Okay, what you're looking at is a conductivity tester, which is just a light bulb and some electrodes down below. When I touch the electrodes with this scupula, which is made of metal, okay, I'm, I'm just completing a connection for the electrical circuit. And as I do that, of course, the light is lighting up, and the brightness of this light is the brightest you're going to see. So, we're going to test three, four different chemicals after I prove to you again. I think you've all seen this before. Those of you who can't see because Zawin's there taking the picture, move off to the side so you can see what's going on. Okay? Yeah, so if you can, can't see, just move to where you can't see. So, first off, here we are with deionized water. Nothing. Okay? Water does not conduct electricity. What does it need? Ions. ions. No ions, no conduction. All right. Now, what's the first thing I'm supposed to test? Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. And I've got a little, uh, yes, I have a beaker here with hydrochloric acid in it. And what is your prediction? It's going to light up. It's gonna is light hydrochloric up. strong or weak? Strong. 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 Which means it ionizes how much? Everything. 100%. 100%. Okay. Now, I'm just going to barely touch the water to the electrodes. Just a little bit. It's pretty hard to not have it conduct and get as bright as that baby will go. Notice it's, it does dim down a little bit as I get sh more shallow. I'm just letting it down, barely touching the electrodes, trying to get it to... To conduct just a little bit. But there you can see strong acid got lots of conduction, which means what does that mean when it's conducting a lot? What's helping it to conduct? Ions. Ions. Okay. Here we go. What's my next stuff to test? Uh, acidic. What is it? Oh, acetic acid. Acetic, acetic acid. acid. Okay. Is acetic acid strong or weak? Weak. 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 Okay. What is your expectation? Low light. Oh, low light. Let's low see. Light. Low, low life. life. Not low life. <laughs> low light. Now you see it's just barely coming on. And as I get it deeper in the water, you can see that's about as much as I'm going to get. Okay? What does that mean about the number of ions in the water? Very few. A bunch less. Yes, a bunch less. Yeah, Princess? Um, I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah, the brightness of the bulbs. Okay, now, what's our next thing that I'm supposed to test? Um, sodium hydroxide. Okay, let's check it out. Sodium hydroxide. Oh, sodium hydroxide, I'm sorry, I did the wrong one. Okay, sodium hydroxide, well, expectation? A lot of light. Yeah. Just like the HCl, yeah? Okay. Very strong base. And now the ammonia. Okay, I already gave that one away. So, yes, you're going to see, just like the acetic acid, it doesn't give you a lot of condu conduction. But it obviously does form ions. And you have everything now for procedure two of the acid-base lab. Let's see what it looks like.